So what we do with these live rounds, and man, every time we do it, it's like, it's my favorite thing probably that we do other than the daily vlog and the podcast and the other content. <laughs> But it really is some impactful conversations that we're able to have because it's based on the information that you guys actually want to hear about. If you have a question, this question could be regarding anything. It could be uh, business related, sales related. It could be something entrepreneurial, really anything. It could be personal, it could be relationships, it could be health and fitness, it could be really anything. If you have any questions whatsoever uh, that you'd like to ask, just put it in the comments. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see that comment with a question come up and we're gonna send you a message directly asking for your phone number. The only reason we're doing that is to be able to call you with our Google line here and be able to bring you on Facebook Live so you can be interacting with me live and it can be on this Live Rounds with No Hook. I promise you, even if we had the ability to keep your phone number and do other stuff with it, I don't really know what I would do with it um, unless I'm just really lonely on a Saturday night. Um, but we're gonna give you a call and have you come on, ask your question, we can go back and forth. You can uh, say, hey, shout out to uh, TJ's Plumbing Service while we're at it. If you're in the Atlanta area, come get the best plumbing service around. I don't care, like pitch your own deal, plug your own stuff. Um, I do this for you that's watching this, not for me. So um, think of your questions, put them in the comments and uh, we'll get rolling here in just a second. What's up, Trent? This is Tyler Harris, man. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. What uh, what question did you have? Um, I was going to ask what you think the most important principle is in growing a business. In a in a perfect world, what's ultimately the outcome that you're hoping to get? Like, if you if if I said, okay, do one, two, and three, and you'll get this, and this equals like your ideal outcome like what's the ideal outcome that you're trying to actually do is it is it drive more participation from those individual business owners or is it to drive more sales for those individual business owners which requires them demanding and needing more just generally kind of um looking for more advice because you seem to be very um, positive all the time mm -hmm. and that, that is actually kind of part of my other question sure that, um, well, let me let's let's knock out this first one. Like, so here's what I'm thinking. What are you doing on social media? We do a little bit. We've got a, um, a friend of mine who who helps manage our social media, and okay. we we try to put out you know good posts. But we watch guys like you. We watch guys like um, Gary V. Yeah. And and uh, Sean Whalen and and these tough guys. Awesome. So, um, not that you're all one type of guy, but you're sure, all sure, sure. But you, you you've got your strengths, and and so we're watching some of that, and it's kind of more just sort of finding the courage to do what you guys do. Um, gotcha. Yeah. So that that's so that's my thought. My thought is, you need to figure out how to be able to provide value to those business owners, so that those business owners are bringing in enough business, so that they have to participate. Yeah, at a hundred percent, right? And so, if it were me, I would be focusing on what type of resources can I make available? What type of content can I be putting out? What type of people can I be bringing in to speak, bringing in uh, to coach, so that I can help the individual business owners increase sales in their business, increase the capacity that they're at, so that they're going to need more of those products in order for you to have them participate fully in, in your program. And so like I would make mine, it's almost like you have to reverse engineer what they want so that you can get what you want. I would focus on, on helping them grow. Because if you focus on helping those, each of those individual business owners that are within, within your uh, buyers group, if you help them grow their bottom line, then not only are they going to have the demand, but they're also you'll have you'll ha you will have provided that value to where it's just reciprocity at that point. I mean, they're they're ultimately going to uh, be more willing to participate, even in those months where. And, and again, I don't know the specifics of how your the ebb and flow works, but let's just say there's a particular um, uh, product or a particular 
uh, uh, quantity that you guys are trying to reach at a particular time. Even though me, owner of ABC Restoration, even though I may not particularly need that much of that product right this second, because you've helped me build my business and build my client base, I know that I may need some more of that product later down the road, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that because I know that you need that for the participation now because of the value that you've provided me. Does that make any sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I was actually testing you and, and uh, you, you got the answer correct. <laughs> <laughs> this was a test? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I have, I have one other question for you. Yeah. Uh, if, um, what would you say is the most challenging part about um, sort of exposing your life and living so much of your life you know, publicly and on Facebook? How much time do you have? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, the most challenging part, honestly, yeah. right, honestly, right now, the most challenging part for me is knowing when to put it down and it meaning my phone. Um, for example, last night, I was laying in bed last night at 1230 in the morning and I was uh, trying to reply to comments on Facebook and I'll get behind on it and they don't stop just because I'm behind. <laughs> they don't stop just because it's the weekend. They don't stop just because it's two o'clock in the morning. Um, and so for me, I, I just have this, I have this weird um, sense of responsibility in that, you know, Joe Blow may be commenting for the very first time on a post. And it could be a post that I've got some ad spend behind, so it's going out all over the place. And this could be the very first time that they've commented on any of my content. It could be the first time they've ever commented on anybody's content. And if I don't respond, I just like, I just feel like, you know, who am I not to, right? Like who am I not like, I don't want that person to be like, oh yeah, well I, you know, I, I wrote this really nice, a you know, long comment asking this question and the guy didn't even look at it. Well, sometimes we don't even see it. Like sometimes I'm having to dig just to make sure that I'm responding to messages and, and DMs and, and stuff like that. So that, that for me right now is, is the hardest thing is, is just making sure I, first see all the stuff that I need to respond to and then take the time to respond because it takes time. Like there's no easy way to do it. Like I refuse, like we have a team here and I just refuse to have them answer them. Like I just, I just, even though they know me as much as, as probably as well as I know myself now, as far as how I would respond to me, that's just, just not going to do that. And so that for me right now is just knowing when to put it down. Um, as much as I talk about, you know, going all in at, at home and with family, it's still difficult for me. Like last night, I was uh, watching my daughter and I've got a new puppy, which is another hassle right now. I mean, blessing. Um, <laughs> and I was sitting on the couch and my daughter was just kind of like jumping around on the couch and jumping all over me. And I found myself kind of like in this moment where I realized like I had been staring at my phone for like the last 10 minutes. My daughter's like jumping around on the floor and trying to get my attention. I'm like, crap. I'm like, what the heck am I doing right now? Like I got it. I'm not, I'm, I'm here, but I'm not, I'm present, but I'm not available. Right. Like I'm staring at my phone, but it was literally doing that. I was responding to messages on my phone. And so it's, it's just trying, trying to put the phone down and knowing when to stop. I think that's just the biggest struggle for me right now. You never feel like you're done. You never feel like you're doing enough. You feel like there's always more. And um, right. it's just managing that, those expectations. Do you feel um, like that you feel like that you will at some point, I mean, as you're growing and your audience is growing and the comments are flying in like crazy, are you going to reach a point where you're going to have to probably get somebody to um, just start to manage that for you? Because it seems like that would be a, a big challenge. And as you grow, um, that's only going to become more of a challenge. It's, I mean, that's, that's the million dollar question because I don't know what's, I don't know what, like, you know, I sit here and I talk about transparency and I talk about being authentic and I talk about, you know, work ethic and the time put in and, and all this stuff. I don't know what's, I don't know what looks worse slash what looks better. 
having right. people not know if their response to their comment or to their messages was me or not, yeah. or having their message unresponded. <laughs> like, I don't right. know what's worse. Like there's times where, um, oh, great example. So uh, two nights ago, uh, Grant Cardone commented on one of my Instagram posts. Now I say Grant Cardone posted, commented, I don't know who it was. But they misspelled a word. They misspelled congrats. It, it like autocorrect, changed it to like C-O space G-R-A-T on your success with something. And took a screenshot of it and I like sent it to TJ. I was like, you think this was really Grant Cardone that commented on this? Or do you think he really has like a responding bot or someone that's responding? It wasn't even responding. It was just like proactively commenting on something. I didn't even tag him or hashtag or anything like is this some random person that's doing it and misspelling words like surely not and so like i i got super confused but it's just it's that right there like if i message grant cardone right now if i message gary v right now and i actually get a response back i'm like well i wonder if that was actually them and so i don't know what the right answer is i know one time gary v responded to my email or sent me an email. And the only reason I know for a fact it was him because I was like, he's the only person that would ever do this. It was Christmas morning at 9 a.m. And he was responding to an email I had sent like a couple days before. And it, there was zero words in the body of the email. He put a sentence in the subject and that was it. <laughs> Literally, I was like, that's definitely him because he would definitely do that for time efficiency. Not even put anything in the freaking body of the email. Um, so I don't That's know, man. It's got to make you feel good that he's. Yeah, uh, that yeah, he's it was. Fun. Yeah, it was cool. Um, so I, I just—that's the question, man. I don't know. I, I don't know what that. Uh, I don't know what the answer is. All I know is, I just gotta. You just gotta get to the point where you're just like, I'm. I'm gonna do the best that I can, but I gotta put priorities in place and understand that I gotta put myself first, my family second, and then get to as much possible people as I can after that. But it should be in I that. Think, it should be in that order, right? You know? I think you, you as you grow and, and that gets more. If you were able to answer the most, I mean, part of the beauty of it is that you're going to be able to choose what topics you want to talk about as your sure. audience grows. I, I would feel, yeah, and then and which is is awesome. And I don't think that I mean, at least from my perspective, I'm just one person, but. I wouldn't stop following your stuff just because you didn't answer my question. You know what I mean? Not sure. everybody maybe is, is that understanding, but you know, um, pleasing everyone is obviously an impossible <laughs> yeah. task. Yeah, and, and man, like, and sometimes, like, I mean, some of these messages, I'll scroll through, and, and one thing I don't like to do is I don't like to click it. Like, I don't like to click the message and it's show that I've read it <laughs> until right. I'm ready to respond to it. I do that with emails. Yeah, yeah, right. And so, like, sometimes I'll just kind of scroll through, and uh, some of these messages are freaking heavy, yeah. like suicidal messages uh, and things like that, and like things that it takes me like it, it's not just to, like uh, send back like a pound emoji, you know, like you <laughs> know, cool, like yeah. uh, you know. Thanks, thanks for the thanks for the message. It's like, man, I got to put some thought into this, put some time into this, because I know that the person on the other end of that sent that, and that was a very vulnerable state that they were in when they sent it. And like, you know, I I want to respect that and 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 provide them with some some feedback or point them in the right direction. So some of it's sure. like, man, it becomes. I don't want to say the word burden at all, but a lot of times it, it's it's a. Um, it gets pretty deep in there, so yeah, and that's heavy stuff, and, and <laughs> yeah. you can have an, you can have a uh, profound impact on on people's lives, um, one way or the other, positive or right. negative. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? That's why I take it. I mean, extremely, extremely seriously. So, well, man, awesome. I appreciate man, well, you calling in. What part of Florida are you in? Uh, Destin. Actually. Are you, dude? I so I um, my family has a place in Destin. Um, oh, really? I've been going to Destin since since I was in literally in my mom's stomach because they had it like I was like out on the beach like while she was pregnant um, and I've moved I've lived all over the US and growing up I, my dad was in the military and we moved all over but Destin was like the one place every year I've been to at least once my entire entire life you know where Pompano Joe's is oh yeah love that place that's like my it's literally like my happy place um, yeah so our, our condo is right across the street 
Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm down there all the time. Um, I'm trying to think if last you're ever time in town, there. just hit me up. Yeah, I'll, uh, for I'll sure, man. Yeah, dude, I, I absolutely love it down there. Back when, like, my grandparents originally bought the place um, down there, and that was before, I mean, you'd be out on the beach and look a mile down, you couldn't see anybody. And, um, yeah. So it's crazy how much it's old, grown. The good old days. <laughs> yeah. That's a good market for you, that's for sure, for restoration. And all, yeah. That's an awesome market. So. 100%. Well, cool, man. That's it for me, man. I'll, yeah. I'll get off here. I just wanted to tell you before I go that, man, all your marketing stuff looks awesome. I don't thank know you. who your graphics guy is, but <laughs> you guys do awesome work. So. Thank you, man. Well, they can hear you. you. They can hear you right now, and they're smiling. So, <laughs> so <laughs> From one designer that. to another. <laughs> cool, man. I appreciate it, man. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Bye-bye. See ya. Yeah.